Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to teach you how to stencil a tennis racket. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before I get started, I just joined uh, Buy Me A Coffee. And as you guys know, I drink a cup of black coffee every morning. Small. Uh, no cream, no sugar. Straight up black. And you'll support my black coffee habit. Thank you in advance. Link is below. I'm going to be teaching you how to properly stencil a tennis racket. Um, surprisingly, a lot of you have asked for this video, uh, so I'm going to do it right now. So what do I have? I have two newly strung pro staffs. I got my stencil. So actually, it's very important that you order a stencil because it'll make it a lot easier for you than to freehand the W. Um, I think a head with the head symbol would be an easy one, but the Wilson one will be hard. Um, I've seen people do the Babolat one, um, kind of freehand, but uh, the Wilson one is hard, the Vocal one is hard, and who else is out there now? Uh, I mean, most of them, you can actually try to freehand, but the stencil, buying a stencil would be easier. I know a Prince one is actually pretty harder than it looks. It's not just a P. There's like spacing in there. But so I got my stencil. Just go buy one. It's not that expensive. And then get your ink. So the first thing you do, you take your ink and you shake it. Okay. It's like orange juice. The, the, the clear part goes up to the top. The dark part goes down to the bottom. So you got to mix that together. It's like vinegar and oil. So shake, shake, shake. Okay. As you see, that stencil has been used a few times. Okay. I take the racket and here, my buddy Mitch is a uh, very anal about this. Okay. He wants the W, right? And the W. So if the W is facing up, he wants that W facing up too, like that. So I'm going to drop it for you with the W up. We go W up, bam, like that. He has to have it like that. He will literally go berserk if it doesn't go down that way. Okay. We were stringing. Let me tell you a different, let me tell you a story. Actually, we were stringing at a challenger event and Sam Groth comes in with his two rackets, right? We sh freshly strung it for him, except that he's playing with Babolat rackets, except that it was like my buddy, Mitch, the, see the W like this, it was like this, right? So we did it kind of backwards for him. It didn't match the Babolat symbol on the bottom. He was like, he looked at it like this. I can't play with it like that. I'm like, Sam, what are you talking about, buddy? He's like, I, I can't do it. I, it, 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 it. I can't do it. Uh, can you restring it, please? And I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, yeah. Can you restring it for me, please? And I'm like thinking to myself, okay. I was like, no problem, buddy. So he get, actually gave me strings and said, can you please redo it for me and charge me? And I'm like, okay. So we redid it, right? We stenciled it the proper way. Okay. So guys, okay. It's important. We stencil it correctly. Okay. So let's get started on the stenciling. W, like George W, okay? W, drop the W. 
Shaky, shaky. Who wants a cocktail of stencil ink? Okay, let's go. So here's, here's the interesting thing. As you can see, you can go way down here, which nobody wants, right? Or you can go way up here, which certain people want. But that's probably a little too high. What we want is kind of somewhere in the middle towards the higher end. So let's get it off the grommets here. Okay. What I like to do, depending on the head size, is maybe drop it into right about there where that part touches the line but it really depends on the person I mean this could definitely go up top like that touching the grommets uh, just because you know but it's again personal preference as long as you that's where you want it so I'm, today I'm going to just touch that bottom line, that last cross on the bottom, like barely on the edge of it, okay? And then I'm going to hold it together, right? Dab it to the side, right? So this nothing comes out, as you can see, right? Push down, push down, start. Okay, now we got ink, okay? Okay, so make sure we're lined up. The sides are lined up. I'm where I want to be on the bottom. I hold it steady. We start with where you hold first, which is the bottom part, okay? And you don't press hard. See, I just dabbed it and it's already, the ink is coming out. So you lightly press it in on the edges. Lightly, lightly. Going in the middle first. Going in the middle first right go away from the edges right go like that like go right where the edge of the stencil is and where the string is and just go there that's how you catch the edges okay see what i'm doing see what i'm doing so i i go half half stencil half string and i drop down same thing here right that's how you get the edges you're gonna have to get ink on the paper see this is how you get the edges okay so don't press hard because what you're doing is basically taking a marker and just coloring it right now if you were to press this down the ink will go right through that sponge and go straight to the bottom. It'll like come straight out. So that's not what you want to do. Okay. All right. I can definitely do this faster, but I just want to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. Take the stencil off. Okay. As you can see, we have a slight W underneath right and then we have a w there okay now i'm going to turn it over so this is where people make mistakes right you turn this over you see that w line right there okay you turn it over you drop it back down okay so you now have to turn this over okay because there's a front side and a back side. You drop that back down. The line's over here now for that W. You line it back up, right, to that bottom. You check out that everything's good. Like, watch, look at that line there. And it goes right there where it's white still to red. Okay. Right about there. Grab the ink. Hold it down. Okay. See, look, almost everything looks red right there. Okay. Again, easily, easy, easy, easy. Right? Where you're holding first, just to get a feel for it. Now, this is going to lift up if I do that. So that's why I'm going this way. 
okay? This one going this way. Because if I go this way, that's going to pop up, which you don't want. So again, the edges, the edges, right? Push down right there where the paper is. Through, through, right? Get this, get the edges of the circle, of the roundness. Okay, okay. Now we darken it a bit more. I mean, I can easily just go do this fast. Mm which is fine now, as you get more comfortable with it. Okay, so I put the ink here. I take this off. There's your W. Okay, can you guys see it? Here, I'll put it right there. You see how it's like that? And then you flip it over and it's like that. All right, so this is my second racket, and I'm going to do it a little faster for you, since I'm used to it already. WW, okay? Line, line. Bam, bam, bam. Doom, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to do it the same way, though. I'm going to hold it steady here. Make sure I'm lined up. Bottom. All right. I'm still going to use these. See, I'm pressing down a little harder because I'm in a big, bigger rush. You see the dots going down? You see that drip right there? Now I'm darkening, darkening, darkening. Okay. Here's a trick for you guys. We tap it to make sure it doesn't run like that. see see the drips I made there so I'm actually gonna not set down back there I'm gonna use a different part of this cardboard now so we just stenciled that side we're flipping it over now I'm gonna flip this over now make sure I flip it over now okay so again hold it steady Bottom part first. This side, because I'm doing the second side, I don't need to press down so hard. But as you can see, if I do press down hard, it is gonna drip through, as you can see by that other one. So this pretty much just needs kind of a, just a touching up here. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna tap a little here. See? I'm gonna leave the stencil there. Okay, see? W. I'm gonna go down here with it. And then W. Okay, so whether you do it fast or slow, just have a steady hand. I mean, have fun with it. You can, I've seen people go upside down with the W, with the W, go sideways with the W. Um, I mean, make a happy face, free-handed. Uh, you know, put your initials, put your girlfriend's initials, put your initials and your girlfriend's initials. Um, you know, people do that in high school. It's fine, it's fun. But um, having a stencil, if you want a perfect W, will help you a lot um, using like a permanent marker will work too uh, if you want to put something special on there. But to formally stencil a W, um, get a stencil, right? And if you want to do it like the pros, match the W with the W. All right. I hope that helped you. Don't rush the process. Uh, darken it if you need to, uh, but try not to freehand it because that'll just be a mess. Okay. Don't press too hard, okay? Don't press too hard. Okay, hope that helped you. For everybody who uh, wants to stencil your racket, have fun, and hopefully you wear out right here, okay? Because that's where your sweet spot is. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.